Hello traders. This is the Silver Bullet Simplified Trade Entry Series Review. And for those that maybe are not aware, uh, which you should be by now, is that I am live streaming every morning. I'm not able to always do the PM session just due to some uh, scheduling constraints. But if you want to be able to see the entire uh, trade session, uh, a link will be popping up so you can see the uh, live stream if you want to watch it in its entirety. Um, but this is going to be a very brief video today because I'm already really tired. It's late in the evening and I plan on getting up tomorrow morning to trade the London session. So I uh, I need to make this quick, but I want to I want to get this out um, so that those that are following the series can uh, can see where things are at. So. 10 o'clock time frame. What we're seeing is that price is going down. We're definitely taking liquidity. We've come down to the new week opening gap low, which is this uh, black line here. One thing I want to point out again is if you look at the three-step process that I'm trying to use is I'm looking for a liquidity grab and then a market structure shift with a displacement candle that leaves a fair value gap. So basically I'm just looking for really premium and discount levels um, within a certain price action. So we've been going down. We've, we've definitely been taking liquidity. And then what we see here is uh, we see a swing high here. Price comes down. It comes up. It takes it out. There is no real fair value gap here. Like Maybe there's like one tick of a fair value gap. But then there's another one right here. And this one delivered, I believe, exactly five and a quarter points. Because somebody in the live stream uh, got this one. Yeah, five and a quarter to the T. So if you're going for five, you got that. Um, I missed that entry because I was too focused on the chat and the live stream. So I was kind of bummed. But here's the thing I want to point out in this too. Because I had said this early on in the live stream when I was just kind of doing another like pre-evaluation is I just want to point out what dollar was doing. So here's dollar over here. So between that same kind of time frame, 10, 20, to 1040 so this is still at 1020 price coming down what well, if dollar is weakening what should es be doing it should be strengthening and if it's not it really is kind of tipping its hand that it is weak and really you should be looking for cells now i get it that is not part of the three-step process but that's actually one of my processes if you've been following any of my videos you know, I'm always talking about dollar. And so this is something that um, it's hard to ignore. Um, matter of fact, I don't think it would be smart for me just to, for the sake of trying to be completely mechanical with this three-step process that I throw some logic out the window. To me, that wouldn't uh, be very smart, not to mention it actually wouldn't be very useful for you guys because these, these other things in price action um, are important. So more on that, uh, I'll discuss that more on um, the, the next live stream. So, but anyway, so this one would have worked. And then if you saw this price action after this came up, then you saw liquidity was taken. So uh, price came down, took liquidity here and then came back up. But one thing I do notice in this, and I, I do want to differentiate, is these bodies don't close beneath this low, just the wicks. So the wicks are continuing to do the damage taking out this low, but the bodies do not. Whereas these areas we've identified as swing levels, uh, these candlesticks finally, they're, they're breaking those highs. So that's something else that will probably uh, come into play uh, as far as fine-tuning this three-step process uh, at the end of the two weeks. Uh, but nonetheless, so you may have been a person trading this a little bit differently than me. So you may have taken this trade and got your five, and then once price came down and then came back up, maybe you went short in here because there is a fair value gap, especially like here's price went high. You have a market structure shift right here because that's a swing low taken out. He's behind a fair value gap. You could have entered in short here. And for some reason, my little tool is not working. And you get a, got five points easily. So, uh, but that I did not get. And 
I did get into an ES trade uh, near the end of the, uh, when did I get into it? <clears throat> uh, I'm already at a loss. I don't remember now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. I don't remember. Um, I'd, I'm going to link again the live stream. And in, this, in the live stream, you don't have to watch the entire thing. I've created chapters. And so you can either go right to the description portion of the uh, live stream video and look for the, the titles. And if you click it, it'll take you right to that area. And I think I taught it like first trade um, or something like that, which you'll, you'll just have to see it if you, if you want to see the live trades. But anyway, this one didn't, this one worked. This one would have worked as well. And then we're getting close to the 11 o'clock hour. And prior to that, it's just ranging. So there's nothing there. I did not trade the PM session because I was busy. Um, but we will take a look at it real quick to see how we might be able to apply the three-step process here. So 2 o'clock, what do we have happening? We have uh, definitely liquidity be being taken. And so the question is, do we have any kind of displacement? We have this swing high here. Uh, price takes that out, pulls back. There is no fair value gap in here. Uh, price continues higher. There's a fair value gap here. We are definitely, and obviously, again, hindsight, it's even clearer, but we're, we're at least reaching for this area of liquidity. So if you would have gone long here at the 219, that would have been a, a, a good entry based on the criteria we're looking at because we had not taken out a... Uh, buy side liquidity yet so that would have been a good entry five point stop loss you're totally safe and five points yeah no problem not to mention look at these pretty equal highs um, even this is looking pretty equal high and what what is price done it's gone it's come down and it's gone right back up into the new week opening gap low and how ict has told us how these these new week opening gaps are levels that price seems to revisit. And it did that multiple times. So that would have been a good trade. Um, but guys, that's that's kind of it. I'm My mind is melted right now. <laughs> I've had a very tiring day. Um, but so I, I got into a losing trade on ES. And I wish I could remember which one it was now. I honestly don't know. Um, but again, you can check it out if you look at the live stream and you can skip right to it. Uh, but I did take, in light of the back testing that I did for oil and gold, I got into a trade on each one of those as well. And uh, my oil trade worked, my gold trade did not, and my ES did not. So anyway, I ended up the day just barely positive uh, by $17. But that's better than a, a losing day. And it's even better than break even, so I'm I'm cool with that. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for this May 30th silver bullet review. Uh, to get better uh, detail and as far as what was going on and what I was thinking in the moment as price action was painting in real time, I suggest you look at the live stream. And uh, lastly, for those that might catch this before the London session, if you are so inclined and you want to wake up and do the London session with me, it, I will be trading the London Silver Bullet from uh, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be starting the uh, the live stream 15 minutes early just to, just to kind of get my eyes open and uh, get ready for, for trading. So, And then I'll also, after I'm done with the uh, London session, I'm going to try to get some shut-eye until the New York Open again to trade the 10 a.m. tomorrow morning uh, silver bullet trade. So I'm actually hoping to squeeze in three sessions tomorrow, the London, the New York a.m., and then the New York p.m. So it's going to be kind of a marathon day. Uh, kind of looking forward to it, but also I need some rest. So anyway, traders, I hope that uh, with this shortened week and these also high impact news announcements that are scheduled for this week, I hope that you've been able to take more from the market that has taken from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.